Hello, and welcome to this video which will explain the property overlays. The review property overlay is where you can view a property on a map. Most of the functionality you will see in this video is exclusive to the Smart Maps subscription, which you can add to a Pro or Pro Plus subscription. You can access this overlay anywhere you see the blue house icon, such as here on an account. Like other overlays, you will see actions on the left and a preview on the right. The only action on the left is the edit button. We will come back to this momentarily. The map on the right will be focused on the property address. Once you make measurements, they will appear on the map. You can turn measurements off by clicking hide on the map. If you have a property photo or property data, that will appear in the panels on the far right. To make any changes to this information, click Edit. The Edit Property Overlay will default to the Property Measurements tab. As an example, let's say we want to find the total square footage of the area we'll be servicing. We will add measurements to find a property's turf square footage by subtracting the area of a structure from the total lot area. Start by clicking Area Measurement. I will start by measuring the structure because it's a little easier to see that way. You can use the satellite view or switch to map view if there are too many trees in the way to see clearly. Click to add points to the measurement and close the shape by clicking on the first point you put on the map. Give this measurement a name. Set the calculation to subtract because we will be taking this area away from the total lot measurement. Change the color if desired. If you want the system to do the math for you on these calculations, you will need to tie this measurement to a property data field. If you do not see anything in this list, you will need to add property data fields. This can be done from the Property Data tab. Click OK when you are finished with the measurement. Now I will add a second area measurement for the total lot square footage so the area of the building can be subtracted from this number. Be sure to change the color so you can tell your measurements apart or hide your first measurement to avoid confusion. Again, give your measurement a name and set the calculation field. This one will be set to Add, so the automatic calculation will give us the correct number. Set the Property Data field to the same one you used for the first measurement, otherwise the difference between the two measurements will not calculate. Click OK when finished. Back on the Edit Property Overlay, you will now see a new line in the Measurements table, an area measurement. Based on the measurements we entered, this number subtracts the building measurement from the lot measurement. You can also copy a measurement if you need to save it for another use. For example, you might measure the driveway to subtract it from the total turf square footage, but it would also be its own measurement for snow removal services. To the right of the measurements table, you will see the GPS coordinates of this property. You can add a pin, which might be useful if you are servicing a large commercial or rural property where it isn't clear to your employees where they will need to work. You can also manually change the coordinates for the same reason. Click Coordinates to do this. Here you can also add a property photo if this hasn't already been done through the Team app. If you add a property photo here, your resources will see it as the property photo on the Team app and help them find the correct service location. When you are finished on the Edit Overlay, be sure to click Save Property to save your changes. Thank you for watching this video about property overlays.